back, relax, and maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so I'm here today to review two books that I recently read. The first of them is Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Back, and the second one is Court of Fives by Kate Elliott. I finally read a Kate Elliott book, yay! So let's start off with this one, Fortune's Pawn by Rachel Back. This one I picked up a couple years ago because it was one of Eleanor's favourite books of the year and she was recommending it really really highly to me. However I only just got around to reading this because actually I have already read some work by this same author and that is under her other name, Rachel Aaron, rather than Rachel Back and that is the Heart Strikers series by her. So this one is a new series, it's a science fiction series and it was actually started before the Heart Strikers series so it is an older series. And this series is a good old space opera sci-fi romp. This follows Debbie Morris who is a mercenary for hire. She is a very very good mercenary, she's been in training for a long time, she feels very qualified, she's been on lots of jobs and she really really wants to get into the elite kind of squad of this world. In order to do that she asks one of her friends how he thinks that she could get there and he says that if you go on this ship called the Glorious Fool then you may well get your place a lot quicker than any other route because this ship is renowned for being attacked, being controlled, being taken over etc. So if you survive a year on this ship it's worth three to five on any other. So Debbie of course takes up the offer, she sees their hiring, she decides she's going to loan her skills out and she goes and she tries to get a job there, which she does manage to do and she boards the ship and she becomes part of the crew, along with another merc who has been taken on alongside her. So quickly she starts to kind of integrate into the crew, find out who's on board and there is quite a mixture of stuff on board. And I say stuff because some of them are alien races. They are different from us in various ways and she's quite amused by how very different they can be, but she herself is not exactly a typical human because she has this big old giant sort of robotic suit that she can live inside and that has all sorts of data readings, it's super duper powerful and gives her badass skills and in general it's just really really quite epic. So this suit is very powerful, it's a custom build, it's one she's saved up for for many years and it's the main point of her kind of defence mechanism. But she is very very skilled warrior too and she gets involved quite early on in some fights that the ship gets into and unfortunately she realises that there is a lot more than meets the eye when you first come on board this ship. There is a reason that many people have left or been killed and that is because they find out the secrets that are really going on. And there are plenty of secrets on this ship. There is a girl who has very little time for anyone but her father, she plays chess a lot, she doesn't really speak to anyone, she's very bizarre and she's the daughter of the captain. There is a man who is a chef who's actually super hunky and also is quite incredible with weapons which you wouldn't expect. There's these people who have sort of spiritual powers, magical powers. There's a lot going on on this ship and quickly Debbie gets into the action, sees what's happening and learns some of the secrets as she goes on. And I guess the ending of this book was the most epic bit for sure because it's all left on a huge huge cliffhanger with a lot to come in the next one. I definitely do need to pick up the next and read it. But yeah, what I liked about this is it's really fun, it's definitely got a kick-ass main character. She's not my favourite female character because she does things that I sometimes thought were questionable or annoying. For a book that has a fair bit of romance and a book that is a sci-fi, it's actually a really fun read. It's a fast-paced YA kind of story, um, she's quite a young character, she has a lot of uh, gusto and she really flings herself into the tasks and investigating things. It moves at a pretty quick pace and it's definitely fun. I will say it wasn't as strong as I was hoping because I had read her Heart Striker series and I think that is stronger, but from a point of view of someone who just wants a really fun science fiction read, this is definitely that. So I would love to hear your thoughts on this one if you've read it, um, especially if you've read the second and third in the series actually because I am definitely intrigued about picking them up. So yeah, do let me know what you thought of this if you've read it. The other book I'm going to review is Court of Fives which is by Kate Elliott. This was my first Kate Elliott read and it is a YA, it's first in her YA trilogy. Court of Fives was recommended to me by Renee and I'll put a link to her Twitter and, and the podcast that she's part of because she's great, she's definitely someone you should follow if you don't already. What I will say about this is it does have vibes of the Hunger Games, it actually follows a world where this game is central to the plot, it's called the Fives, and the Fives game is divided 
divided into four sections. So a fives court is four sections. Each section has different things that it challenges. So we have rivers, traps, trees and pillars and each section is designed to do something to the people who are participating who are called adversaries and test them in various ways. And our main character is Jessamy, or Jess as she's known in the book. And she is the daughter of a commoner and a nobleborn. They are together, they've been together for many years. They're not married, but they've been together pretty much the entirety of Jess's life, and even before that, because she's got older sisters as well. However, in this world, there are two different types of people. We have the patrons, who are rich and wealthy, and the commoners, who are not. And her father is a patron, and her mother is not. All of these people in this world are constantly fascinated by the fives, and the fives is a big topic of debate and discussion. People bet on it, people get involved in it. Some of the high-ranking nobles put people into, like, the palace fives, and it's all very, very much the core of this world and the people's living and what they do. Jess, our main character, is secretly in training to become an adversary. She has been keeping it from her parents, she doesn't want them to know, and only her sisters know um, and they have to keep it quiet as well. She definitely would not be allowed to be an adversary if her father found out because he is very much all about keeping the family name in good stead, being the ideal daughter so that he can get away with having a commoner almost wife. She's not his wife but they might as well be for how he treats her. He's been loyal to his lover for many many years and he keeps her at the forefront of everything he does but quickly we follow the political machinations of this story and we see that at the time where we join the story the politics of this world is changing. People are very soon going to shift the balance. Jess's father may find himself on the wrong side of things when it comes down to patrons and commoners. And so things very quickly shift and Jessamy is put into a situation she never anticipated. She kind of gets the opportunity to do what she's always wanted, but it comes at an incredibly high cost and she is threatened by various people around her at all sorts of times um, in various ways and she feels very very hurt by this and trapped by this but at the same time she's living her dream what is she supposed to do how is she supposed to react how can she save her family and bring them back together but also achieve her dream that she's always wanted and that is the real crux of the story i really like the idea of the fives i think the hunger games was great for the idea of the hunger games and i think the fives the court of fives book is great for the idea of the fives each of these kind of big dramatic epic games gives a real core to the story something to focus on and something to be a part of and i think the story really revolves around that very strongly and very well I also think that Jess is a good character. She actually makes decisions in ways that I really admired at times and I think although she does things that are questionable, she does them in a way that makes sense and she has real strong motivations for doing what she does. So I like that a lot about her. Again, this is a story with a bit of romance in it and again, that is something that I don't think overtook the story too much. So I like that a lot about it because oftentimes you find it's too heavily weighted towards the romance and not enough action, plot or character development. In this book, I feel like we've got a good balance of all of them. The only downside for me was that this is a startup of a series. So it felt like it was very much developing the world and it did feel like it was just kind of getting you into it rather than completely a fully fleshed story on its own. However, I really enjoyed this. I do feel like there's a lot of twists in this and it certainly did some things I didn't expect, which was really nice to see. And I certainly think it's one that a lot of you guys would like as well, especially if you are a YA sort of fantasy reader, then you're probably going to really, really enjoy this one. I'd love to have your thoughts on this as well in the comments and I ended up giving this a four stars overall. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave me your comments and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye Thank guys. Thank you fortune, my 50 old today. Go pick up a book and come back and chat with me again.